Hi everyone, welcome back to Technon Tech TV. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss about SQL sub queries and also I will show you its practical example. So let's start. A sub query is a SQL query nested inside a larger query. So sub query may occur in select clause, from clause, where clause. So the sub query can be nested inside a select, insert, update or delete statement or inside another sub query so it is uh, usually added within the where clause of another sql select statement so you can use the comparison operator such as greater than less than or equal to the comparison operator can also be a multiple row operator such as in any or all so sub query is also called an inner query or inner select while the statement containing a subquery is also called an outer query or outer select. So this is syntax for uh, subquery. The inner query executes first before its parent query so that the results of an inner query can be passed to the outer query. So you can use a subquery in a select, insert, delete or update statement to, to compare an expression to the result of the query and to determine if an expression is included in the results of the query and also we can check whether the query selects any rows or not. So the subquery or uh, inner query executes once before the main query or outer query executes. So the main query or outer query use the subquery result. Now before moving to example section, there are some guidelines to consider when using subqueries. First is subquery must be enclosed in parenthesis and um, next is subquery must be placed on the right side of the comparison operator. It cannot manipulate their results internally so therefore order by clause cannot be added into a subquery. You can use an order by clause in the main select statement or outer query which will be the last clause and uh, use single row operators for example greater than less than or equal to with the single row subqueries and if subquery or inner query returns a null value to the outer query then outer query will not return any rows when using certain comparison operator in a where clause now let's see the example like how we can write subquery here we have uh, two tables student and marks with the common field row number now we want to write a query to identify all students who get better marks than that of the student whose roll number is 2 but we do not uh, know the marks of 2 so to solve the problem we require two queries one query returns the marks of roll number 2 and a second query identifies the students who get uh, better marks than the result of the first query so let's write the first query The result of the query is 85. Using the result of this query, we will write another query to identify the students who get better marks than 85. So here we got the output. So above two queries identify the students who get the better number than the student whose uh, roll number is 2 that is Adam. You can combine the above two queries by placing one query inside the other. So here first I will write the second query and inside this we will write our first query. So the sub query also called the inner query is a query inside the parenthesis. So advantage of subquery is that instead of performing multiple queries individually you can just write one query and that's it. Use subqueries when the result that you want requires more than one query and each subquery provides a subset of the table involved in the query. Now let's see types of queries. So there are five types of subqueries. A uh, single subquery which returns zero or one row. Next is multiple row subquery which returns one or more rows and next is multiple column subqueries which returns one or more columns and next is correlated subqueries. Correlated subqueries are used for row by row processing. Each subquery is executed once for every row of the outer query. 
so it is uh, one way of reading every row in a table and comparing values in each row against related data it is used whenever a subquery must return a different result or set of results for each candidate row considered by the mean query and last we have nested subqueries so in nested subqueries subqueries are placed within another subquery so you can use any of these subqueries depending upon the situation and how you want your result so that's it for this video if you have any doubt comment us below and if you found some value in this video then make sure to subscribe to the channel and give me a thumbs up and do share this video with your friends to spread the knowledge and stay tuned for more videos